Pastor Steve, and I would like to talk to you for just a few minutes about how to help a person out of a crisis. When someone's in a crisis, how do you help them? What do you do? What words do you speak? Now, I'm not a mental health professional. I'm a pastor. Where I'm coming from here is just my experience in, in working with people for around 40 years to help them through really rough patches that they've gotten in in their lives. And so obviously uh, what I'm saying is not meant to detract in any way from what the professionals or experts in the field say. I just want to give you some practical advice about helping folks in a crisis or if you yourself are in a crisis. As Lord knows, there's a lot of crisis going on in the world today and a lot of stress out there. First of all, just to point out that each person's crisis is unique to them. My crisis is not going to be the same as your crisis, and yours isn't going to be the same as his or hers. They're different. And that means that we have to approach each situation individually and uniquely. Just work with that person, with whatever their situation is, and, and not especially not to bring a lot of judgment or, or you know, quick fix mentality. Um, th there is no cookie cutter approach. What we have to do is reach out to one another individually to help find solutions that work for each person, one person at a time. Now, I like to make a list when I'm talking to someone who's really in a lot of trouble. I like to make a list of the, of the, of the problems. Um, and the reason I do that is because some problems that people face are not going away. I use the word intractable. I intractable is a word I like because it means the tractor ain't gonna pull it right? It ain't going anywhere. It is what it is. It's just a reality in our lives. Uh, a lot of people who suffer from chronic pain, uh, that pain is just there. Uh, people who, who have experienced traumatic experiences, the trauma that happened is just there. It happened. It's just a reality in the past. Folks who have lost someone, dealing with grief and loss, that person who died is gone. It, regardless of how powerful your faith in life after death may be, which is a wonderful thing, they're still not there. Okay, And, and so these are like just intractable realities that are right there present in our lives. We have ways of coping with this. In each individual, we are amazingly adaptable and resilient creatures, and we find ways to, to adapt to those intractable problems. But when you add another problem and another problem and another problem and another problem and another problem, and another problem to the list, things become unbearable and the person reaches the, the, just reaches the breaking point. And, and that's where we, we need to make a difference, okay? We can't make the intractable problem go away. The pain is just going to be there. We can't make that not be there. But what we can do is we can improve the context of the person's situation. Improving the context means that you look at that list of all the problems and figure out which ones on the list you can help with, you know? Help the person find a way into the, the area of maximal comfort. You know, are you cold? You need a blanket. I, 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 whatever the situation is, 
Um, and, and like, for instance, I have seen remarkable, wonderful help happen when uh, you get a group of people to come in and clean up the person's house, or you get a group of people to come in and clean up their yard, or, or you bring them some flowers, or, or, or you just help in some small way to bring a measure of comfort in the context that they are in. So you find what you can fix and you fix it. And that really makes a huge difference. Just help them find their maximum comfort zone, fix what you can fix. Because what you're doing is you're, you're, you're trying to, um, to, to solve some of the smaller problems in an effort to give them the strength and perseverance to bear with and cope with the larger intractable problems in the situation. Now, the next thing is that, that I try to encourage people to stop the repeated negative messaging. And this is also related to the intractable problems. See, we get this habit of repeating in our minds the same failed negative messages. We keep saying the same things about what has happened to us. Oh, they did this to me and this awful thing happened and, and you keep repeating it over and kind of rehearsing it over in the mind. I use the um, image of a, a ruminant, um, like a cow chewing a cud, right? Cows eat grass and, and they eat grass by, they chew the grass up, you know, they chew it and chew it and chew it and chew it. Then they swallow it and then they burp it back up again and chew it again right? And, and that's called ruminating, right? The, 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 the ruminating is something that happens in our minds when we just keep repeating the same negative messages. So you try to help that person um, to think about something else and try to help them develop inside themselves the skill to teach themselves to think differently, to follow a little distraction to get off that negative thought path. And, and even if they can only do it for a short period of time, that's to be celebrated, right? Just keep practicing. Keep practicing controlling the thought in your head, your own thought, that, that you can keep your thought on a positive track and not allow yourself to sink into the repeated negative thought. I, I, I put that under a broad category, which I call never believe your own BS. In other words, don't just believe the, the, the negative messages that you're repeating about yourself. Spirituality. Spirituality is a really good way of resourcing a person, helping a person whose life is having a problem. Spirituality, all of the world's spiritual systems are systems that help people to look at the deeper mysteries, the deeper reality of human consciousness. What's going on in here? What am I? Who am I? Why am I here? Where am I going? What's the point of this whole thing called life? These are deeper spiritual questions and they are well explored using spirituality. You can take a book, you know. Um, I, I have a great little collection of ancient books and, and, and um, you know, like this is a, a New Testament from the mid 1500s. It's a very precious object, but it, it it's precious not because of its age or because of its value, but because of the message it contains. And it, and it, it contains a variety of messages that, that help us spiritually, help us to, to, to reflect on the mysteries of of life and death and consciousness. Now, I believe that 
our religious and spiritual systems are basically all the same. I have studied world religions. I have studied Islam. I have studied Hinduism. I have studied Buddhism. And I have studied as a Christian minister the scriptures of the New Testament. And I have studied Judaism and, and, and its history in great depth. They are all wonderful. And, and, and that is a personal belief of mine. But the point is that it doesn't matter which spiritual school you find your way into. New Age consciousness, um, sh you know, shamanic journeying, past life, whatever, whatever, whatever. They all are helpful. And they're helpful to us as long as what they do is empower, validate, and liberate. Now remember those three words, okay? That empower. Never trust a spiritual system that wants you to give it the power. They don't have the power. You have the power. So you want to seek a spiritual system that empowers you personally and, and that validates you and your unique journey and your unique circumstances. And validation is not condemnation and judgment, right? So uh, I shy away from, from, from groups that put people down and, and make people, you know, that, that whole, um, what I call the brood of vipers approach, you know, where you just, the, the approach of, of mass condemnation. Stay away from that. I, I encourage you to find groups that, that empower, that validate, and liberate. Liberation means that the group basically teaches you that you are the one who gets to decide how to live your life, that you are free and freedom. Freedom is an incredibly valuable thing to, that, that this day you decide. And so the, the opposite of freedom is a lot of control. Don't, don't, don't work with groups that, that, that seek to control people. That, that's, that's more cult-like. So, so to help people in a crisis, help them find groups that validate that empower and liberate. Those, those are the three key terms. Finally, um, I have put up on the web a whole lot of stuff and it, it's in a lot of different uh, places. The main center is the website, pastorsteve.faith. That's where we put uh, some essays, larger essays and some smaller essays that I've written. Our material is available um, on Instagram at Pastor Steve Research, on Facebook at Pastor Steve, that's one word, Pastor Steve Research. Pastor Steve, no space, dot faith at Facebook. Go to Facebook, Pastor Steve dot faith. YouTube, Pastor Steve Research, one word. TikTok, Pastor Steve Research, one word. Twitter, at Pastor uh, underline Steve underline. That's the Twitter handle. And, and you will find a variety of these sorts of little talks that I've given. And then also some much deeper talks where I've gone into the metaphysics and, and philosophy and comparative religion and a lot of that stuff that I think can be uh, very helpful. We would like your support of our mission. Our mission is to bring practical spiritual guidance to folks who are not super religious. Uh, th th there's a vast number of people out in the world who for whatever reason have kind of dropped out of their spiritual system. They're, they're just kind of searching, maybe agnostic, maybe atheist, just, just really, you know, critical of the, the, the religious systems we've got. Because frankly, really those religious systems have 
they're, they're inclined to be stuck in the past. And folks today are facing different realities. So I have a mission, a personal call to help humanity, to help people deal with the issues they're facing with practical spiritual guidance. So if you could subscribe to our channels, that helps tremendously. If we get more subscribers, no, you just subscribe to the channel. And that what that does is it just helps us reach more people. Network this out. Share this information with people. Let your friends know, hey, you know, I saw this video. Man, this kind of makes sense. This, 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 I think, can help people. Share that out if you would. Um, and then on the website, we, we have uh, solicited help from benefactors, uh, those who are financially secure enough that maybe they can just kind of help us offset some of the expenses that we're running into in, in um, trying to make this a, a, a mission to the people. The people, regardless of ethnicity, regardless of religion, regardless of who they are, to try to reach people and empower them, validate them, and liberate them in such a way that they're not crumping under all the stress that we have. Thank you so much for watching this.